The Powder Magazine is the oldest government building in South Carolina, and their history stretches beyond their thick walls. Today, we are talking about pirates. May is going to be our first pirate month and we sort of selected it because we know that Blackbeard came to Charleston in May. Um, he blockaded the harbor, not for money as you would su suspect, but for medicine. His crew was ill. On the ship, the Queen Anne's Revenge, um, it was salvaged. They actually found the shipwreck archaeologically and from what Dr. McNaughton, who's going to be one of our speakers, from what she says, they did find medicine, chest of medicine on that ship that's really linked to Charleston. The first four Tuesdays of the month, we'll have Zoom lectures. Um, Eric's going to kick us off about general pirate history in Charleston. Then the next Tuesday, we'll have a speaker to talk about pirate hunters. And the middle two Saturdays, the 13th and the 20th, we'll be here in the Cannon Yard at the Powder Magazine with crews of pirates, reenactors um, who do living history. So we'll have pirates roaming all around the Powder Magazine and I think it's a great opportunity for people to bring their kids um, and interact with the pirates in a safe way. <laughs> um, and it's free with museum admission. The Powder Magazine is the oldest public building in the Carolinas or Georgia. It was built in 1713, so we're celebrating 310 years of history this year. It was built um, to store gunpowder till the mid-18th century. So from the 17-teens to the mid-18th century, it stored up to 10,000 pounds of gunpowder. And this was built as part of Charleston's walled city. So it's right on the edge of the city. The main part of the city was down towards Rainbow Row. This was about as far away as you could get from incoming ships that are coming to attack, so they wanted it in the middle of nowhere in case it exploded. And the building itself is built really intentionally. Um, it's got incredibly thick walls, just about three feet thick. The brick comes up in groin vaults or arches. If there was an accidental explosion, the force of the explosion would generate up through the weak parts of the arches. According to legend, there was about thousands of pounds of sand in the attic that would fall on the explosion to put out the flames. So it was sort of a giant fire extinguisher guarding thousands of pounds of gunpowder. <laughs> we hope that when people come to the Powder Magazine, they'll really embrace the early colonial history of Charleston. Sometimes we focus so much on the Revolutionary War and the later uh, Civil War, that we forget there was an entire century here. This building was built uh, when Charleston was a walled city during that golden age of piracy. Um, and it was a really important building. It decided, despite its small size, it was really essential to the, to the operation of this place. And Charleston had to be defended well. This building, if you think about it, 310 years, it's seen every era of Charleston's history, every goings on, and it's still here to tell the tale. The Powder Magazine is open to the public Tuesday through Sunday. To register for one of their Pirate Zoom lectures, you can visit powdermagazine.org slash pirates.